Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to be going over a very simple tinted photo effect. This can be done um, mostly through curves but we are going to go through some other ways of also complementing the picture while, while still using curves. So I have a photo here with my model Christina that I took and we're going to be using this one for the example. Let's first by starting a base. So we're going to add the foundation color to this kind of tinted photo look and it's going to be a brown tint because I think that would complement the picture a lot. So the first thing you want to do is go to layer, new fill layer, and then solid color. And then now you're going to want to choose like a brown color. It really, there's no specific color that you could choose, but I'm going to choose one that's kind of like an orange brown. Kind of right there. In the middle, actually. Again, you can always switch this up and change it, but I'm going to try to get it on the first. I think that looks pretty good. Or no, this looks pretty good too. I keep changing my mind. So this is a good brown. Just press OK when you're finished. Now we're going to set this whole layer from normal. We're going to go all the way down to color. And obviously you don't want it like this. You don't want it, you know, obviously straight up color. We're going to lower the opacity to around 20%. And as you can see, it already muted these colors. It kind of, it's very, very subtle. As you can see, even in her cheeks, you can see how it kind of flushes everything out. It, all, it makes a nice base. So now we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And the curves is going to be the biggest part of this because it is going to um, create that um, tinted effect. So we're going to start out with the RGB. And I'm going to start with a couple of points. I'm going to try to make like a backwards S, I think. And you can follow this directly how I'm doing, or you can kind of go your own pace, but just something kind of like a, I don't even know if this is a knot, I don't know, it's like a really, really wide S. And then um, make sure that you're pulling up this, the, the one that controls the black, you want that pulled up so that it's removing some of the black. And you're going to want to remove some of the white too by dropping this down, this very last one down, so up to there. And again, this is only RGB. So then from RGB, we're going to go to red. And what I'm going to do now is create a point kind of like in the middle right here. And then just drag this one, this very top one, up just a little bit. And as you can see, it's bringing in some of that red now. There's before and after. And then from red, we are going to go to green. And again, just very subtle. We're not, we're not going crazy here. Just very, very subtle. Adding a little bit of color. And you can always play around with this if you want. I'm going to pull that up a tiny bit. And then, okay. And then I'm going to go from green to my favorite blue. I'm going to just select some points here. And bringing up the bottom blue and bringing this kind of up so that it creates some yellow in there. And we're putting this right here. We're making another point. Honestly, I wrote some of the points down, but I'm just kind of like freehanding this to what it looks like here. So I'm, I want to make sure that this is pulled down a little. There we go. Again, not too crazy, nothing crazy. But as you can see, it did make a big difference if you go through each and every uh, section. So now we are going to go to another layer of curves and I just want to add a tiny bit more color. Nothing, again, too crazy. It's going to go from RGB to blue and again, we made a new curves layer. So I'm going to add a point right in the middle and kind of drag it a little down. There we go. Something like that. So I'm just saying, so there we go. And then going to go back to green and just m make a tiny point. There you go. Literally, I think if you just click, it'll just kind of add color in there. And then last but not least, red. And I, again, I'm just clicking. Just randomly No, I'm just joking. I'm not randomly clicking. Just kind of to get a little bit of color in there. But again, you don't want too much. So 
very very subtle I'm gonna show you guys a kind of up close what that did just very subtle you can even see in her face right here it kind of added some color so now we are going to create a um, small gradient so go to gradient here and we're gonna want to change this from white to a transparent black gradient so black going to nothing press OK now the style you want is not linear but we want to choose radial because we want it to go around radial like a circle and then hitting reverse so that it um, again reverses uh, what we want to do but I don't want to have it so close to her face so we're going to change the scale to 150 that's pretty good and I'm going to press OK and then I'm going to put this to overlay and I'm going to set this around it really just depends what your preference is like 29%. Now we are going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then vibrance. So just press OK. And then we're going to want to take the vibrance up to about 45. And then we're going to lower the saturation to about 25. We don't have to do it exactly. I'm such a rebel. I said 25 and I put 24. Yeah. Um, so as you can see, it, it muted the colors a little, which I like. If you don't want, if you want it to show more color, you can always just higher the saturation just a tiny bit. And last but not least, let's go to layers, new adjustment layer, and then levels. And I just want to add in a little bit more depth in here, just a tiny bit, nothing crazy. Two. There we go. Just something kind of subtle. I don't want to overdo this. You don't have to add this layer if you don't want to. It's really kind of up to you. So let me show you guys the before and after. And this is really all I would do. That's before and that's after. So again, it created a really nice tinted look. And you can use this for a variety of pictures. I think it works great with all kinds of pictures. You can play with your curves. If you do want more of a brown color, you can just higher the color layer. And as you can see, it creates a more brownie look, which, man, that makes me hungry. I love brownies. So, yeah, so, I mean, this is pretty much it. It was pretty simple, nothing really too complicated about it, just adding some layers. Hopefully you found this useful and you guys like the final effect and you guys can use it in your pictures. If you guys have any requests, um, you can send me an email or post a comment. Thank you so much for watching.